All right, gonna start a new project here. I'm just gonna add a new blank node 2D here and then add another. You can just hit Control A to add a node instead of clicking the plus there. I'm gonna add in a sprite and then add in a static body 2D to that and then add in a collision shape 2D to that. So let's go drag in our art assets here, the two tile sets or sprite sheets. And then so for this sprite here, I'm gonna drag in the platformer tiles onto the texture property. And over here, let's set the shape to a rectangle shape 2D and set the extents to 32 by 32. Num lock was off. All right, 32 by 32, and then sprite go and to region here, uh, enabled true rec. Uh, I'm going to set the width and height to 64. The middle mouse button to move around and scroll wheel to zoom. So you can see the sprite here. And then I'm just going to duplicate this control D and then move mode. You can drag it to the side here. If you hold shift, it locks it to the axis when you drag it. And then uh, let's go here and set the Y to 64. So that just moves it down, selects the bottom tile there. And then just I'll name this, double click, rename it to tiles, save the scene, tiles scene. And then I want to export this project uh, scene, convert to tile set here. And just call it tiles.tres here. Make a new scene, um, new T again. I'll name this world and add a tile map as a child. And then just go find tiles.tres here, drag it onto the tile set property. And now I can just draw some tiles out here. If you look at this blue box here. This is approximately what the camera is going to be in its default setting. So I'll just draw some tiles. It's just left click, drag to draw. And you can erase with the right mouse button. And then uh, let's just save this as a world scene. And then one more scene here, let's create. We need a kinematic body 2D. And then as a child, a collision shape again. And then let's make this a rectangle. So that makes sense, 10 by 24, let's do. And then I'm gonna duplicate this and then just click this little arrow here, choose circle shape. Uh, if I zoom in over here, I wanna move this down a little, hold shift to keep it on the axis. Just have it poke out a little at the bottom. This is just to prevent collision issues with tile maps. And then also add a sprite and a animation player. And I'll name this player right there. Oh, let's go to project, project settings, input map. So have move left, move right, and jump. Let's define move left as A move right as D and jump as space. Close out that. Um, I'm gonna go to Sprite here. Let's drag on the platform character Sprite sheet onto there. And let's do region enabled. And let's go to the animation player here. Click this to create a new animation. I'll call this walk. And let's create two more for idle and jump. So if I go over to walk here, I'm gonna set the length to 0.4. Let's zoom in here. Um, and then now I have this, now that I have this selected, you'll see these keys appearing here so I can create new animations. So I'm gonna go select the sprite here. You'll still see the keys here. Go to region rect, let's do 64 by 64 for the height and width. And then click the key here to create this new track. And zoom in, scroll wheel, and hold control plus use the scroll wheel to zoom on this animation track here. Let's click to move over right here and create another. Let's move to 64 on the X and then click the key, move over again, set this to 128 on the X. That's just selecting. If you look at the texture region here, it's where you could select them by hand too. But there's just three sprites or tiles here that are 64 by 64. So I'm just specifying where they are instead of doing it by hand. And then for the last one, go back to animation, go here, and I can click this and control D, and it'll duplicate that track to there. Then I want to click this here and set it to discrete, and then click this to loop it. So if I click play, you'll see the animation playing. And now uh, let's go to idle, and I'll set the region to Y, I'm going to have it on 64, and create track there. 
And let's also move this sprite up a bit so it aligns with the coll collision there. So right there, that's good. And then uh, one more, let's jump here and let's create, we're gonna have X64 and Y64. So that'll be the jump animation and click create there. And then all of the animations are done. So now let's go to player, um, let's save the scene real quick, control S and then go, let's add a script up here. So for the script, let's start for first full screen this, clear up this. Oh, uh, let's define all the parameters stuff here. So if I start it, move speed, we'll move left and right 500 pixels per second, jump up. It means our starting upward velocity of when we jump will be a thousand pixels a second. And then gravity will pull you down an acceleration rate of 50 and max fall speed is a thousand pixels per second. And let's get a couple of references here to animation player and to the sprite. And then variables here are current y velocity or vertical velocity and whether or not we're facing right. And then uh, in physics process here for movement calculations, I'm gonna do some input processing. So move direction, that's whether we're moving left or right. So if we press move right, add one. If we press move left, subtract one. And I'm gonna call move and slide. So move and slide, we just pass in the direction we're moving for create a vector two for the movement direction and speed. So for the X component, that's just our move speed times the direction. And our Y component is just gonna be whatever the Y velocity is. Then this is for move and slide, it takes one vector two for the floor normal. So in here it's zero, negative one because negative is up in good OTD. And this, when we call this, it updates um, collision flags, which is this here. So grounded is on floor. This checks if we're touching the floor or not. So we're gonna use that to determine if we're on the ground <coughs> and do some stuff with that. So we're just gonna add our gravity to our Y velocity because positive is down. So every frame you get accelerated downwards more. If we're on the ground and we press jump and we're just gonna set our Y velocity to be negative of the jump force so we shoot up. And then ground if we're on the ground and our Y velocity is greater than five so we're moving down faster than five and just set it to five. Because otherwise, if you're on the ground, it'll just keep building up speed until you walk over a ledge and you'll be at like 8,000 and just shoot straight down instead of realistically slowly falling and accelerating. So, and you don't want this at zero, otherwise it won't be able to update the flags here. And then if we're greater than our max fall speed, just set it to our max fall speed. And then we need a function for flipping here. So this just toggles facing right Boolean and it also toggles um, a flip H property of the sprite. So if we're, it just, yeah, it just toggles the direction the sprite's facing. So what we're gonna do for that here is if we're facing right and we're moving left, flip. If we're facing left and we're moving right, then flip. And now we need to do some animation stuff here. So play anim here, it's just a quick method I made. So you pass in the animation name you wanna play, and this checks if the animation player is already playing an animation, and if that animation is the one we want to play. And if it is, then we just don't do anything because we don't wanna start it over. Otherwise, we play that animation. And then for that, just go in here and check. If we're not on the ground, we play jump, if we are, and we're not moving, play idle. And if we're moving, play walk. And then just save that. And then on full screen, let's go to project settings here, general environment. I'm gonna change the color here to FFFAFF. What is that? Uh, let's go 2D again. And I'm gonna instance the player as a child of world and then just move it down to, let's say there. And then if I click play, it'll ask me to set the main scene, set that to world. And then, here we go, it works. You have a simple platformer in Godot.